MauiToday.tv. I'm a physician. I speak as a private citizen. I am the district health officer for Maui County, but on this issue, because the State Department of Health or the state, I'm not sure of their position, they defer to other people. Uh, I will not speak for them, I speak as a private citizen. Uh, this event is for public education about genetic engineering. And specifically this year, uh, well, for the last two years, there's been a move in the legislature to try to control and contain genetic engineering of specific crops. Kalo is one, taro. The other is uh, coffee. And there were a couple of bills that died about um, better control of genetically engineered crops which produce pharmaceuticals. So I guess in the last year we've had such a tough time with the legislators, the legislature. Uh, they seem to, we seem to pass the committees, but they do not want to hear the bills. We feel that if if we can argue the case, we can win the case, but they just don't hear the bills. Now, some of them, we were told that, you know, they're dual bills, Senate and House bills. And so sometimes they tell us, we pass the Senate and they tell us to kill certain bills because it's redundant. So they said they'll hear them, but they won't hear them. And they were told at the last minute um, that it's a complicated issue. They need time to think about it. So the genetic engineering of Kahlo, of Taro, uh, it is a complicated issue. And uh, there's cultural reasons. There's my area is health, it's health reasons. There's economic input. There's uh, environmental issues about spread to, and there's it is complicated. So why don't we just have a moratorium until we resolve it? It's very similar to the super ferry. Yeah. Shall you allow it to run before or after the EIS? Believe me, genetic engineering is more complicated than the than the super ferry. If you don't know what you're doing, and if it's a life form that might be beyond recall, you know, life forms, koki frog, maconia, then I think you should have a moratorium on it till you can resolve these issues. It's as simple as that. I will discuss and argue. I've discussed on Akaku, our public television, last week, um, this, the health issues. Okay? Other people would discuss cultural issues. Other people would discuss the environmental issues. But, um, like I said, the other side of the argument, I don't know if they were invited, I don't know. But last week they were invited and we had a quite a very good, friendly, lively discussion. Uh, I just want to tell the Hawaii public, if you think, if you think the super ferry needed in the AIS, you should take a look at this. We have been to court three or four times in the last five years to court. Have we won in court, blocking the introduction of genetically engineered plants because of a lack of a EIS. Judge Elizabeth Strand in Kealakua blocked genetically engineered algae. And I think Judge Seabright, the federal judge, he asked for better control of genetically engineered pharmaceuticals. So this court EIS, we're used to it. This, the super ferry is not the first one to run this pattern. And once again, we are trying with the legislature now to see if we can convince them. This is MCC. I'm just an invited speaker. This is organized by the students. Uh, they, they have a club that organized this. There's a lot of uh, cultural aspects to this. Opening a film, I think, was all in Hawaiian. Now, like I said, the, the two issues are coalescing because of the genetic engineering of Kahlo, of Taro. You saw last year they tore up the patent. The university tore up the patent. You can argue whatever issue you want, cultural, religious, humanitarian, health, I don't care. But when all these groups seem to get together, we will have to learn each other's arguments. Uh, I will have to learn a little more about the cultural issue. I know some more than I did two years ago, and they will have to learn a little bit more about the science and the health issue, and vice versa. In the end, uh, when you have trouble with the government, you don't know who's got the ball, the governor, the legislature, the court. Those three things are supposed to be check and balance. But when it's not check and balance, but pointing to the other guy, and in the end, the educated public will have to carry the ball. I'm a physician. I've been a world health consultant for the last 20 plus years. I am retired Army active duty. I am retired from the Army. I'm a consultant to GlaxoSmithKline. And I'm on the America's Best Doctors list. That goes your peer select to 3%.
So those are my qualifications. And six or 60 publications in peer-reviewed journals. I'm telling you this because I've been challenged that I am not an expert. I do not do plant genetics. But I'm asking the public one more time. If the hammer falls on your head, are you going to call the maker of the hammer? Or are you going to call somebody who knows a little bit more about the head? If this stuff stayed in the lab, I would have no opinion about this. But when it's in the air, when you breathe it, when it's next to our schools, I expect the health people to have more input than the makers of the product. Maui today.